Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with another reaction, and I'm reacting to I Love You, Jake Paul by Tana Mojo. <laughs> it's trending, so let's check it out. Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> it is 6.09 a.m. on July 28th, 2019. Okay. And I'm about to go get on a plane and go get married. But first... Wait, what? This is this is so cringe, because like, I know Tana and like Jake Paul have been together forever, or whatever, or been together for these past couple of months, and they're like literally the most controversial stars on YouTube, so it's kind of insane that they're getting married. <laughs> I had to make this YouTube video. It doesn't really feel right to me to upload it on any other day. <laughs> this video is unlike anything I've ever really made because it isn't just for the people who watch my channel. It's for someone specific, and I'm sure you can guess who. <laughs> and if you don't want to cringe. Dude, this is not real. Like, this can't be real. <laughs> like, really, really hard. I suggest you uh, click off while you can. <sighs> I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I've never made a video like this. I'm fucking sitting in my room talking into a microphone. Like I even know how to work a microphone. The other day in an airport, a girl came up to me and asked me why. This is making me cringe, bro. I'm gonna get through it though. I, I love you, Jake. People actually ask me that a lot. And I'm sure people ask you that about me too. But uh, I guess that's beside my point here. I realized in that moment that the only person I never want to question why I love you is you. Because I love you. <laughs> Like, on some I listen to love songs and smile now shit. <laughs> on some I fall asleep smiling notebook shit. I love you. It actually still scares me so much to say it. Because once I say it and it's somewhere other than my head, it becomes completely real. And to be quite frank, I am so used to losing everything I love and I don't want to lose you. But, uh... Okay. I, I mean, like, I can relate to that. You know, like, that's not bad. You know, I don't really care for Tanner or Jake Paul, but the fact that she's going on here, like, I can feel that emotion in her voice. Like, she actually loves Jake Paul. And for me, that's believable. And for me, I can respect that, regardless of their past. That's kind of cool. I love you, Jake Paul. So I'm making you like this video. This. Which is really weird. I'm gonna like this video. It's decent. Weird. I actually can't even imagine you watching it. And if you watch it in front of me, I'll probably run away. Because this is really fucking cringy. But gotta do what you gotta do on your wedding day, you know? So next time I'm uh, running late or pissing you off, if you could just watch this. And, and uh, hopefully I can keep you for a little longer. As if this video couldn't possibly make you cringe more. Russ has this uh, song lyric. You heard me right. I am referencing a fucking Russ song less than a minute into this YouTube video. I want to slow dance while they're screaming. I remember where I was the first time I heard that song lyric. I remember where I was the first time I realized I was 100% sure I would never find that with anyone. But I also remember where I was the first time I looked at you and realized every moment of my life since I was first enamored by that song lyric was leading me to you. It's not the idea of fame or people liking us that entices me about that song lyric. It's the idea that it's us against this world. A world that's so fucking harsh that will chew you up and spit you out and make you feel like you have no place that's your own. A world where you begin to accept in a crowd of people you'll still feel completely alone. A world where a cell phone in your face is more common than a safe place and everyone thinks they know exactly who you are, but only you and the voices in your head know that isn't the case. A world that is absolutely not for the weak-minded. I remember where I was when I fully accepted I would always navigate this world on my own and no one could even begin to untangle or understand the thoughts in my head. I fully accepted that I'd go the rest of my life looking at everyone around me, knowing they would never really understand me or what was going on in my head. That I would probably fall in love with and walk down the aisle one day with someone who didn't fully understand me. I just accepted it. Because to be honest with you, with a life like mine, and a path like the one I've walked, you don't really meet people who understand you, ever. You just meet people that pretend to. 
And to me, that's what the truest form of love is. Someone who understands. And not just fake understands, like a comforting nod or a cliche Tumblr quote, but someone who can look at you from across a room full of people and know exactly what you're thinking. I could never speak again, and you'd be able to write out what's in my head. We could close our eyes and walk through this life completely blind, and we'd still manage to take the same steps. It isn't just I love you, it's thank you. I'm thankful for everything bad that's ever happened to me because it led me straight to you. Undeniably, in front of my face. A magnetic connection so strong that even if I didn't want it, I'd be stuck with it and never forget it. Thank you for going through every single thing I've gone through, but 10 times worse, so that you know exactly what to say to make it all okay. Thank you for lighting a fire in me that no one else could light a match to. Thank you for waking up the kid in me and making it all fun again. Thank you for working so hard that I wake up every single morning thinking, if Jake can do that, so can I. Thank you for freeing the creative juices in my head like a fucking river. Thank you for loving me, even when it might be so hard to. Thank you for never, ever, ever, ever giving up on me or losing patience and for always pushing me to be the best version of myself because that is the truest form of love you could give me. Thank you for walking into my life and showing me who I am with you because I fucking love that girl. My best ideas are the ones I think of with our brain and my best self is the reflection I see when I look into your eyes and my best life is one lived by your side. I spent my entire life thinking I would be too broken to ever match perfectly with someone else and I can't even begin to express the joy I felt when I first realized that our two broken pieces fit together perfectly like a fucking puzzle. You made me realize it's okay if people never understand, if they hate us for who we aren't, if they write us off and they cancel us because that's easier than figuring us out. It's finally okay if we go the rest of our lives with dirty looks and confused reactions while holding up a smile because at least we get to do it together. Because when you- This is a great video and the reason why is because they both have had controversial past. They both have people who don't understand them, write them off, treat them like crap because of their mistakes. And they fit together because of that and understand each other. It's it's like perfect actually. It makes sense. I can see from her perspective. And even if people hate them, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is a great video. For sure. For sure. You and I are in sync. We are unstoppable. The world stops spinning for a second when I'm standing on your feet. I'd search the rest of my life for that feeling even if I only got to feel it once. And that's why partner in crime would be a fucking understatement. I love you, Jacob Joseph Paul. I love you for exactly who you are and every part of yourself that you don't. I love you at 10 years old when you didn't know what unconditional love was. If I could get in a time machine and show you that I was somewhere in the world feeling the exact same way and one day it would all make sense, I would. I wish that every moment someone withered away another layer of us, using us, misunderstanding us, lying to us, breaking us, treating us like we weren't even human, that we knew we were one step closer to each other. I would pick up the pieces of your heart and meticulously glue them back in place over and over and over again because it mends my soul to mend yours. You could build a thousand walls, but I would know exactly how to climb over every single one. Home is a feeling and never a place. And I could pick up right now and never go home again as long as I'm by your side. I'd give you every last ounce of my youth without thinking twice because I couldn't spend it better anywhere else. And I have no idea where this crazy fucking roller coaster is headed, but I can't look forward because I can't stop looking at you. Thank you for slow dancing with me while they scream. I love you. Amazing, amazing. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, what did you think in the comments down below?